What did Jay-Z call his wife before they were married? Fiance. Ah. Right, uh, 3.1.1.3, the second video on your extreme weather event example, which is Boss Castle. Remember, it's in August. Remember to double that. It's the 16th of August. Remember to half it. It's the uh, 4th, or 2004, I should say. 16th of the 8th, 2004. Extreme weather event in the UK, in Cornwall, in the village of Boss Castle. Causes we've done previously. Where's my laser pointer? Causes we've done previously. We'll now look at the social, economic, and environmental impacts. Uh, you've seen this before, um, but generally, uh, general advice for impacts, um, try and name your d different groups of people. Actually, the example is telling you you need economic, social, environmental here. Consider are they short term or long term. Try and give you specific examples, specific figures. And if it's linking to people or social impacts, always link to quality of life using comfort, access, privacy and safety. Uh, one thing I haven't mentioned in the previous video um, regarding earthquakes is a bit more difficult to do this, but um, there are going to be positives and negatives of uh, impacts of, of any event in, in geography, really. In terms of impacts, don't just think it's a negative. You can also put positive um, effects or impacts in your answer as well. Right, um, it might be worth print screaming and printing this, print screening, sorry, and printing this slide off. The impacts of extreme weather, your two main rivers there, the Jordan and the Valencia rivers burst their banks. Uh, what that leads to is three metres of water travelling over land through 4th Street in Boss Castle. Remember, you've got 89 millimetres of rainfall falling in essentially one hour, about a month's worth of rainfall, really. Um, as a result, your two rivers burst their banks, three metres of water travel over the land through 4th Street, and these are therefore the impacts that you get, split conveniently into social, economic and environmental. So we'll just pick a couple of these in each box and just try and talk through uh, what the impact is, try and extend those impacts on. Uh, if we start with um, 100 houses being destroyed, if your house is destroyed, you can't live there. That is obviously going to reduce your comfort, as uh, you'll find out in the third video, people end up living in uh, temporary shelters, including Boss Castle Primary School. Just put your heads into that idea. If your house is destroyed and you end up having to live in Penrise School, in the gymnasium or the sports or alongside other families, you can probably identify quite quickly how your quality of life decreases. It's uh, your comfort goes massively down. Um, at any point when you're at home if you want to watch tv you can if you're in temporary shelter like that you obviously can so it also reduces your access to opportunities uh the beds that you're going to be staying on are going to be those fold out beds that they're, they're not as comfortable as um i assume the bed you've got at home and as a result of that it just reduces your comfort down in terms of boss castle you probably can't really go into the safety route of saying disease would spread quicker as people are uh, living very close to each other in, in one single room at Boss Castle Primary School. Uh, however, if you were really struggling, you could possibly explain that the, com the common cold would would spread potentially faster. Um, what else should we do? Uh, over 100 cars washed away into the river or sea. Um, cars will be insured by law. They have to be insured. So your insurance will pay out for your car to be uh, restored you may actually end up with a new car as, as a result of that but the negative then comes uh, initially from a uh, reduction in access to opportunities particularly if you're a tourist I mean it is August this is going to be the height of tourist season if a tourist car is washed away they are going to be stranded in Boss Castle for at least an extra day that gives them the extra cost involved it means if they have to travel back for work they could be late and then lose even more disposable income and longer term, this would apply to both residents and tourists, really, that if your car is destroyed, yes, your insurance will pay out for it, but your insurance will rise as a result. Uh, and as a result, in the future, you'll have uh, less disposable income, less access to opportunities. Name any example that people can spend money on for this. Oh, I don't know, uh, going to a restaurant. And as a result, a, a lower quality of life. Uh, likewise, actually, if I just put in, I don't know, £4.5 million insurance claims total, that is obviously going to have um, a negative impact on the insurance company. Obviously, that's more economic than social, but it also on the people itself, because the next time they come to uh, apply for new insurance, it will clearly have risen as a result of this flood event. Right, economic. Um, the Harbour Light Cafe uh, was destroyed, actually, the um, outer wall collapsed. It's now actually been rebuilt on the other side of the... Um, the river um 
however in the times of it being destroyed that means you've got people who would have worked in that cafe as um, baristas or uh, servers they are out of work they have less disposable income they have less money to spend in the local economy so other um, shops and businesses lose income as a result so there's your um, economic impact I mean you can actually extend that on again and say that those businesses now pay less tax um, as well so there's a local economic example 15 million is the amount of all the damage added up 15 million pounds worth of damage occurred to roads buildings cars etc etc obviously from an economic point of view that is going to mean that uh, money has to be spent rebuilding boss castle it means less money goes into um, schools and hospitals in the local area so as a result you've got that further negative impact in in the future that can be added to this one um actually i'll just jump back to social quickly six people hospitalized due to shock um the way i'd explain that is it actually reduces other patients leisure time and the reason why is if you have six extra people turning up at a hospital those people are going to be treated as a, as a priority due to the fact they've turned up with shock it therefore increases the waiting times for other people using that hospital for other reasons so they have less leisure time those people then have less access to opportunities um, example spending time with the family so a lower quality of life right um just gonna do tourism now i'll, I'll leave future defenses to, to the next video on responses um the idea just quickly is that obviously that's going to cost money for the for the uh, environment agency and for the town so it has less money to spend on other factors but tourism um initially obviously a negative impact here um your tourists are airlifted away uh businesses are destroyed they're going to lose income however in the long term there is an argument to suggest that this flood event might have actually helped boss castle out a little bit because um they did get national coverage for this and it's a place that is stuck in people's head and as a result, uh, two years down the line, when the town is, or the village, I should say, is completely rebuilt and the, um, for example, the Harbour Light Cafe opens two years later across the uh, across the river, or across the Fourth Street, I should say, um, as a result of that, people now have heard of Boss Castle as a village and it's a place that people are actually more likely to visit on the basis they've simply heard of it before. And as a result, there is an argument to say that a positive long-term impact of the flood is more people had heard of the village and therefore we're more likely to visit it it's it's not quite dark tourism um an example you hopefully study with montserrat where people actually go to montserrat to see the volcano and see the damage it's caused they don't the tourists aren't necessarily going to see the damage caused but they're going because they've heard of boss castle and let's imagine you're traveling down to cornwall in your summer holiday you're looking for places to go maybe you're staying in saint Austell and you're looking at a map going oh where should we go and visit oh let's go to mever gizzy uh let's go to um the eden project let's go to new key and you look on your map and go oh boss oh let's go to boss castle and it's just a place that as a result of people hearing of they will go and they'll go and visit right environmentally a bit more tricky um but you do need an environmental impact of this extreme weather event I'll start with habitats being destroyed um your rivers burst and your banks destroys the habitats on the river banks the classic examples there your, your sparrow hawks wolf spider and dormouse the sparrow hawks nests are destroyed when trees are uprooted therefore uh, sparrow hawks leave the area as a result um you could initially argue that actually it would um destabilize the, the food web because sparrow hawks wouldn't be hunting either of these two animals uh, as much as they would normally however these two animals are habitats are also destroyed obviously they live on the ground level so therefore actually there's even less prey available to the sparrow hawk so the big idea here is that destruction of habitats leads to a collapse of the ecosystem arguably sparrow hawk could be a you could link it to social or economic as well i suppose because if those habitats are destroyed you have less bird watchers visiting boss castle in the future but i think if i'm being honest it's quite a minimal impact rubbish and debris deposit in people's back gardens yes again it links to social because it ruins people's view a uh, lower comfort and a lower quality of life as well so your specifics there really you've got four street you've got your specific animals with the uh, habitat you've got the specific cost and the harbour light cafe you've also got your figures and specifics over here in the social there is enough here to be talking about regarding this extreme weather example but just to repeat this is going to be the exact same for your flooding case study because they are the same case study so your flooding case study has the exact same impacts because it's the same place hope that all makes sense Come and see us down H7. I'm not sure about anything to do with quality of life, but hopefully that should be quite a straightforward one.